Hey y'all, today is Sweet Hunter's birthday, so I'm recording this early, but we are making uh, sliders, ham and cheese sliders today. A lot of you have made them and, uh, and you know how, but there are some that won't know how. All I'm doing is taking some sweet Hawaiian rolls. I got the Sara Lee today, um, but they're sweet Hawaiian rolls. I'm cutting the tops off the bottoms and I'm putting the bottom in a pan. So sometimes it's easier to cut them one or two at a time instead of a whole whole sheet. Uh, I'm actually, this will probably hold almost two packages. We'll see. Lay that up there where I'll remember. Uh, you can cut them one at a time. You can cut them the whole, the whole flat. You can cut them at one time. But I'm trying to fit some in here because I have a, already started this. So, let me do just a few more. I should have done them before I started. So the tops you're laying over here, the bottoms you're putting in the pan. That's just for now. I'll probably fit two more in here. And maybe another one. Get another one in here. Let's see. The kids are coming over and um, and uh, they're bringing a cookie cake. I was gonna make him a chocolate cake, but I ran out of time today. So, <clears throat> all right. Now what you need is some ham and some cheese, and you actually could use. There's other recipes that you can use. Um, I've done the little Jiffy hamburgers before with the sliders. They're good. Uh, of course, I like them with onion and pops don't. Sweet Hunter don't. So. And it's his birthday and he likes these and I haven't fixed them in a very long time. So all I'm going to do is layer on some smoked ham and I'll just lay it on the sheet. A couple of pieces. Just lay it on top of the bread. This is real easy and it's good for a crowd and it don't heat up your kitchen, it's quick. And he did not want to go out for his birthday. He's not a go out kind of person. Really, we're neither one are. So I'm just laying the ham on. And it should cover all the rolls. I'm using Swiss cheese. <clears throat> and all you do is lay that on top. You want every piece of bread to be covered with ham and cheese. And like I say, there's many recipes out there, but this is the one I'm using tonight. It's easy and uh, fast. And the kids will be here in about, well, they're supposed to be here in 30 minutes, but they're always late. So, anyway, I won't put it in the oven until they're actually here. So I'm going to layer just a few more pieces of this just on top just to make it good and cheesy. Use the rest of this package. All right. That is the basic first part. I gotta remember how I laid these. I think this one right here. These are kind of ob oblong rolls. So, you just lay the tops back on. And 
and it don't have to be exact. In fact, I'm short one, so I have to cut another top. I don't know how I come up with one short, but it, it don't matter. It's a, it's not a hard recipe. So that's how it looks, just little ham and cheese sandwiches. And now we'll make the topping. Okay, the recipe for the topping, it calls for a half a stick of melted butter. I'm doubling mine, but I'm just gonna tell you uh, the, the one for the 12 pack. Uh, I'm using 24, I guess. So, <coughs> excuse me. So I've melted a uh, half a cup of butter, uh, which like I say, I'm doubling mine. I'm going to add one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. You see me adding two, but I'm doubling mine, so. The recipe calls for one. Okay. Then we're going to add, I'm having to look at the thing, I can't even remember. We're gonna do two teaspoons of minced onion. Shh, don't tell Pops. Which I'm doing four, doubling it. He does not like onion, but he eats it all the time. So, I'll just be quiet. Okay, and then we're gonna do two tablespoons of oyster sauce. you'll see me do more because I'm doubling it. I think that might be enough. Y'all know me, I don't really measure. <clears throat> or I should say I'm not used to measuring. It kind of messes me up. All right, it says one-fourth teaspoon of salt and pepper. Then it calls for one tablespoon of poppy seeds. Remember, I'm doubling it. Let me go wash my hands. <clears throat> Stir all this up. And the melted butter is still warm, so everything mixes up really well. And this is just the good stuff that goes on top before you bake it. I preheated my oven to 350. And then we're just pouring it over the sandwiches, over the top of the toss. Some will go to the bottom and uh, sit there and soak in. And that's what you want it to do. You want it to soak in. That's the way it looks now. We're gonna cover it with foil and let it sit for about 10 minutes. And then I'll put it in a preheated oven at uh, 350. It's preheating now. And uh, we're gonna let it sit for 10 minutes and just kinda let it sit and soak. 
So cover it with foil. the good stuff off. And just let it sit for about 10 minutes. And then we'll put it in the oven and I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. Okay, here's what they look like. They're hot and ready for the family. And the family's here. And you see I got a little helper here. Tell them what you told me when I got this out of the oven. Kids can not touch ovens. Say it louder. Kids cannot touch ovens. That's right. So we're going to set it here. It's ready to eat. You want to show him Pops his, his uh, birthday cake? Huh? No, no, it's not birthday cake. Well, it's cookie cake. cake. It's a cookie okay. cake. Cookie there. Smells good. Smells good. And what do you want to tell the people? Do you want to tell them? It's Papa's birthday. And I love him because in a minute after we eat, I'm going to ride the gator. Hey, Papa's going to let you ride the gator, right? Yeah. All right. Tell everybody bye. Bye-bye. Hey, 350, 20 minutes. That's it. And, and if you go home and touch the oven, you should definitely not do that. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. That's right. Tell them bye. Bye.